walking, probably the least expensive sport, and doctors say a healthy one. If you live where there are changes of seasons, this may be a time when it's tempting to be a little melancholy. Trees bare, lots chillier. If you go out on your own, you can be device wired. Or if you can listen to what's outside you, and if you are like me, you can sometimes hear what's inside you. I'm not a political person, but I'm relieved that those distracting yard signs are now put away. I notice the surroundings more. I'm not sad going by empty athletic fields. Even though the kids at these schools won't be competing and the fans won't be cheering until 2023 seasons, that's reason to look forward. And here at the time when people tend to think of year-end summaries, I appreciate what so many of these men and women, coaches and others have done for these kids, giving a lot of hours for not a lot of pay, preserving these teams and places where we can gather to cheer and to walk. Oh sure, none of us move in a dream world, and it's impossible to ignore more unpredictable weather or the rising temperature of the earth on which we all walk. But if you come away with the feeling that just like preserving teams and diamonds and courts and stadiums, there can be a similar commitment not only to humans and these surroundings, but to such teammates of ours as turtles and monarch butterflies, so they can have a good 2023 season too. <laughs> and that is up to me and us. So I walk to take care of myself. And even on those days when I take that first step thinking, I can do little, I come back convinced I can do something. The doctors are right. Walking is healthy.